I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video, I'm going to reveal the best vitamin for memory and focus. You've tried the latest, greatest nootropic for memory and focus, but it didn't work like they said it would. Ring a bell? The new herbal nootropic supplement you saw on TV turned out to be a dud, too. But was it really a bad product? Because like all the other supplements you've tried, nothing ever works for you. Now chances are the product was good and the ads were not just hype. What you may not realize is many nootropics will only work when supported by the vitamins your body and brain need every day. Now the same nutrients that are fundamental to your health and how your brain works to maintain focus and encode and retrieve memories. Now, before you decide to move on to the next video, stick around because I'm going to explain exactly how this works. In this video, you'll learn which vitamins are essential for memory and focus. And if you're not getting enough of each of these in your diet, what you can do to make up the difference. Vitamins are a group of organic compounds essential for human life, but they're not synthesized in your body. So, you need to get adequate amounts of these vitamins from your daily diet, or you take them as a supplement. Now, most of these vitamins are derived from plants, but you often get them from higher up the food chain, including meat, dairy, and eggs. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin and potent antioxidant. It comes in two forms. Preformed vitamin A, retinol or retinal ester, which is found in meat, poultry, fish, and dairy products, and is used directly by your body. And proformed vitamin A, carotenoids or beta-carotene, which is found in fruit and vegetables. But it must be converted in your body to retinol and retinoic acid before it can be used. Vitamin A is involved in long-term potentiation, which is required to form memory. And retinoic acid is involved in neurogenesis, neuroplasticity, cell differentiation, and synaptic signaling, all required for focus and memory. Vitamin B1, or thiamine. Thiamine was the first B vitamin to be dis discovered, hence its name, vitamin B1. Now, you get thiamine from eating beef, brewer's yeast, legumes like beans and lentils, milk, nuts, oats, oranges, pork, rice, seeds, wheat, whole grain cereals, and yeast. Thiamine in its diphosphate form, or TDP, is a cofactor involved in carbohydrate metabolism, producing enzymes which are involved in the Krebs cycle in synthesis of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, in your mitochondria. You require thiamine for generating cellular energy. That's where you get your energy from during your day. And the downstream production of amino acids, nucleic acids, and fatty acids. Thiamine deficiency has long been linked to memory deficits. Severe deficiency results in Wernicke-Karsakoff syndrome, one symptom of which is memory loss. Vitamin B2, riboflavin. The best food sources of riboflavin are meat, organ meat, cheese, eggs, green leafy vegetables, beans, some nuts and seeds. The two flavoprotein coenzymes from riboflavin FMN, which stands for flavin mononucleotide, and FAD, which stands for flavin adenine dinucleotide, are essential to most enzyme processes in every one of your cells. FAD is required to produce pyridoxic acid from vitamin B6, or pyridoxine which is the form of vitamin B6 your body can use. And it's required to convert vitamin A, or retinol, to retinoic acid that your body can use, which is critical for focus and memory. And FAD is also needed for the conversion of tryptophan to vitamin B3, or niacin. FMN and FAD are also cofactors in the metabolism of fatty acids in brain cell membranes, the absorption and utilization of iron, and the regulation of thyroid hormones. And riboflavin is an essential part of adenosine triphosphate production in your mitochondria. Not enough riboflavin may result in a lack of focus and memory loss and fatigue. Vitamin B3 or niacin. 
Vitamin B3, or niacin or nicotinic acid, naturally occurs in foods like eggs, fish, meat, milk, peanuts, mushrooms, green vegetables, and yeast. Niacin is a precursor to the coenzymes NAD and NADP. NAD converts to NADH, which is the primary carrier of electrons in the transfer of food from your diet into energy. This energy is stored as adenosine triphosphate, or ADP. Not enough NADH leads to ATP depletion, which can eventually lead to cell death. Niacin boosts the production of nitric oxide, which relaxes blood vessels in your brain, which increases cerebral blood flow. Niacin affects cognitive function by stimulating the production of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. These are neurotransmitters that are involved in focus and memory formation. Niacin also increases brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF, and stimulates growth hormone, needed for long-term potentiation for the formation of long-term memory. Vitamin B5, or pentothenic acid. Vitamin B5 is a precursor in the biosynthesis of coenzyme A, which is required for the synthesis of the neurotransmitters acetylcholine, epinephrine, and serotonin. Adequate levels of acetylcholine are needed for focus and memory. Foods rich in pantothenic acid include animal organs like liver and kidney, fish, shellfish, milk products, eggs, avocados, legumes, mushrooms, and sweet potatoes. And vitamin B6, pyridoxine or preferably P5P. Vitamin B6 is a required coenzyme for the synthesis of dopamine, epinephrine, GABA, melatonin, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Foods rich in vitamin B6 include bananas, beef, chickpeas, pistachios, pork, potatoes, and turkey. Even mild deficiency in vitamin B6 results in downregulation of most major neurotransmitters, leading to poor sleep, behavior, inability to focus or encode memory, cardiovascular function, and the loss of hypothalamus pituitary control of hormone secretion, resulting in increased anxiety, depression, fatigue, and pain. Vitamin B7, or biotin. Vitamin B7, or otherwise known as biotin, or vitamin H, is a coenzyme for carboxylases involved, involved in the metabolism of fatty acids, amino acids, and glucose. Biotin influences the use of branched-chain amino acids in the synthesis and release of serotonin from tryptophan and tyrosine from phenylalanine. As a coenzyme, biotin is required for the synthesis of fatty acids for energy production in your brain. Lack of adequate biotin can result in fatigue and the inability to focus. Biotin is needed to produce tyro tyrosine, which in turn provides dopamine in your brain. Lack of dopamine means poor memory and recall, low libido, poor reaction time, slower muscle movement, Biotin is found in foods such as organ meats, eggs, egg yolks, some dairy products, and some fruits and vegetables. Vitamin B9 or folate. Folate is involved in gene expression, amino acid synthesis, myelin synthesis, and is required for the synthesis of the neurotransmitters dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, serotonin. Green leafy vegetables or foliage are rich sources of folate and how folate got its name. Now you can also get folate from citrus fruit juice, legumes, fortified foods, and liver. Many neurohackers, including doctors and other health professionals, confuse folate with folic acid. They are not the same. For a detailed explanation of why folate versus folic acid is such a big deal, Please see my video, which is a full review of vitamin B9 or folate. It covers how your body uses both compounds and what happens if you have problems with the MTHFR gene. Folate is critically important for the fully optimized brain, and research shows that folate levels, even in the normal or RDA range, may be inadequate for methyl donation and neurotransmitter synthesis. Supplementing with folate or a multivitamin with adequate levels of folate may help alleviate depression, improve focus and memory, and ward off dementia. Vitamin B12 or cobalamin. Vitamin B12 is a cofactor in the synthesis of the neurotransmitters dopamine, GABA, norepinephrine, and serotonin.
Affecting focus, cognition, memory, and mood. Foods rich in vitamin B12 include fish, self shellfish, meat, especially liver, poultry, eggs, milk, and milk products. The two best sources by far of vitamin B12 are clams and liver. You cannot get adequate amounts of vitamin B12 from plants. Vegetarians and vegans are especially in danger of B12 deficiency. Plant foods contain analogs of B12, which are similar to, but not the same as, vitamin B12. They bind to B12 receptors and block your intake of true B12. Trying to get your vitamin B12 from yeast products like Red Star Nutritional Yeast or Marmite is also problematic. These products do not naturally contain B12, but are fortified with it. Food-grade vitamin B12 comes as methacobalamin or adenosilcobalamin. Adenosilcobalamin, which are the, tr are the forms of vitamin B12 that are naturally occurring in your body. Avoid other forms, including cyanocobalamin, which produces a small amount of cyanide each time you consume it. Vitamin C. Vitamin C, or ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble nutrient and electron donor critically important for the healthy brain. The active form of vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Vitamin C is a cofactor in the synthesis of norepinephrine from dopamine. It induces the release of acetylcholine and norepinephrine from synaptic vesicles on neurons, which means vitamin C is involved in neuronal signaling transmission required for optimal focus and memory, and vitamin C induces the expression of brain-derived nootropic factor. BDNF is needed for long-term potentiation, which helps form long-term memory. Vitamin D3, or cholecalciferol, or Calciol is the fat-soluble steroid hormone form of the essential vitamin D. Vitamin D3 is involved in the synthesis of GABA, glutamate, and glutamine, and dopamine in your brain. Vitamin D3 is also involved in neuromodulation, the regulation of neurotrophic factors, neuroprotection, neuroplasticity, and brain development. Vitamin D has been shown to play a critical role in neuron cell growth and differentiation, neuron transmission, and the neuroplasticity that's essential for optimal focus and memory. Vitamin D is mostly made in your skin from sun exposure, not from food like most of your other vitamins. When ultraviolet B or UVB light from the sun strikes your skin, your body synthesizes vitamin D3. Vitamin E. Vitamin E includes a group of eight structurally related fat-soluble chain-breaking antioxidants, four tocopherols and four tocotrienols. Vitamin E regulates the activity of multiple signal transduction enzymes, which affect gene expression, which in turn affects processes including neurogenesis and taming inflammation. Other genes affected by adequate vitamin E levels prevent Alzheimer's progression, hormone metabolism, apoptosis, growth factors, and neurotransmission. Lack of adequate vitamin E has been shown to downregulate genes leading to myelin and synapse loss, disrupting vesicle transport needed for neurotransmitter signaling and is detrimental to glial functions. One recent large study demonstrated that vitamin E supplementation delayed the progression of Alzheimer's progression, even in moderately severe Alzheimer's patients. Vitamin E contributes to optimal focus and memory throughout your life, but the only effective vitamin E supplements are food sourced containing all four tocotrienols and all four tocopherols. Vitamin K. Now we have two forms of vitamin K. We've got K1 and K2. The two main types of K2 are MK4 and MK7. You get vitamin K2 primarily from meat like chicken, pork, beef, egg yolks, milk, and cheese. K2 is higher in meat and dairy products from grass-fed animals, and you get vitamin K1 from green leafy vegetables. Vitamin K is essential for the synthesis of the myelin sheath insulating your axons in your brain. And it plays a significant role in cell signaling pathways. Several proteins in your brain are dependent on vitamin K. For example, protein GAS6 is actively involved in apoptosis, mitogenesis, neuron, and glial cell growth. One recent study showed increased dietary intake of vitamin K is associated with better focus and memory. 
After diving into the data and clinical evidence, it's clear multivitamins or multiple vitamins are required for optimal focus and memory. It is also clear that vitamin dosage is important. How much of each vitamin should you use for optimal focus and memory? For the conscientious and dedicated biohacker, following the government recommended daily allowance or RDA may not be a good idea because the latest RDA are what public health authorities consider to be the minimum of each nutrient to sustain life not necessarily to make you feel great and perform your best, just to keep you alive. Now, if you are striving for optimal health and cognition, consider the clinical data combined with how you feel to determine how much of each vitamin you need every day. Quality matters as well. The shelves are packed with an overwhelming choice of vitamin supplements. Most of them are cheap synthetics and not what your body and brain consider food. I encourage you to see my video called How to Select the Best Multivitamin for Brain Function on what to look for when it comes to quality. I'll provide a link down below this video. Finally, you can buy each vitamin as a separate supplement. It's expensive and inconvenient. It's better to choose a high quality vitamin mineral supplement at the correct dosage. It'll save you time and money. Now, I recommend the one that I use. It's the Performance Lab Nutrigenesis Multi for men, and my wife uses the one for women. It's the must, seriously, it's the best multivitamin I've ever used. I've been using this multi for, for gosh, at least almost four years and feel physically better and mentally sharper since I started using it. Seriously. Your brain needs each of the vitamins I detailed in this video for optimal focus and memory. Some you'll get from a healthy diet. Preferably organic vegetables and fruit and grass-fed meat products, but what you don't get from food must be supplied by supplementing with a high-quality multivitamin every day. You will feel better, and your nootropic stack has a more likely chance of providing the benefits you are looking for. So that is my report on the best vitamin for memory and focus. If you want to read the full transcript for this video, you'll find a link to it below this video. Now, you'll also find dozens of articles on all the most popular nootropics on Nootropics Expert. Now, if you have any questions or you want to share your experience using vitamins and minerals, please use the comment section below this video. Or you can use the at the bottom of the post. The post is called, What is the Best Vitamin for Memory and Focus? over on Nootropics Expert. I do my best to respond to comments and questions as quickly as I can. Now, if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages. Did I mention it's free? And it contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And consider getting a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages and the best guide on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. If you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Neutropics Expert.